Okay, I'm going to answer two questions I've been asked a few times by viewers. First question is, why do I always go, in, go into my temp folder when I start a tutorial on scripting? And I think, uh, I think you guys are just over complicating this. It's actually quite simple because I'm working on temporary stuff. See, I do a lot of tutorials. All these scripts I write for you guys, I'm not keeping. So if I created those scripts in my home folder, every time I did a tutorial, I'd have to go out and clean out all the scripts I just created, any files that they created, and it's just easier to do it in your temp folder. That way, next time you reboot, it's gone. Uh, so, basically, the reason I'm using my temp folder is because they're temp files for me. Uh, if I was going to keep these scripts for later use, then I wouldn't do it in my temp folder. Uh, so that's the answer on why I go into my temp folder when I create stuff. The next question I've been asked a few times, and um, it's why do I use let when I'm creating variables sometimes? And uh, I did do a tutorial on this once, and it's because I need it, uh, if I need that, that variable to be a number, an integer, to where I can add, multiply, divide, perform some sort of mathematical uh, equation on it, I need it to be either you know a, a number, an integer. Um, and although let is not the only way to go about doing this, it's the way that I find uh, that I learned how to do it, so I continue to do it. And I'm going to give you an example here. So I'm going to open my text editor. I'm just going to create a variable, or I'm sorry, a script called mathsh. I'm going to start off with my shebang lines so that my operating system knows that this is a bash script. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable, but I'm not going to use let. I'm going to say x equals 1. And then I'll echo x, so I'm oh, sorry, x, so you can see on the screen when we run it what x equals. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to say x plus equals 1. So that should create, that should take x and add 1 to it, so it should be 2. But at this point, x is a string, it's not an integer. So if I echo dollar sign x, it will actually not be 2, it will take 1, the string 1, and add string 1 to it, which would actually be 11. Because it's not a number, it's a string, it's just putting 1 next to 1. And what I'm going to do here is I'm going to uh, copy that line a few times, like so. We'll save that script, we'll make it executable with change mod plus x for executable, and the name of our script. Now if I dot slash that file, the output, as you can see, is not adding 1 to x each time. It's going 1, and then it's going 1 and 1, and then it's going 1, 1, 1, then it's going 1, 1, 1, 1, and then 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. I think I said the right number there. Now, if we come back in here, and we say let x equal 1, and we say let x equal 1 plus 1 all to all these here, what we're doing is we're changing x to be an integer, a number. And now, if I run that same script, ta-da, 1 plus 1 is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, 3 plus 1 is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So, if I need to do mathematical equations in my scripts, I'm going to use let to let the uh, bash interpreter know that this variable is an integer. Now, that is not the only way you can do it. Um, there are other ways of doing it, and this is just how I learn, and that's just how I do it, because that's how I'm comfortable. Uh, maybe in a future tutorial, I'll go over other options on uh, different ways to do that, but that is why I say let, and I, I try to say that in my videos. I'm pretty sure I always say that in my videos when I say, we're going to say let x equal whatever, or let whatever variable equal whatever, I try to say that that's because we need this to be an integer, because we're going to add, uh, we're going to apply a mathematical equation to this variable. So I, I'm doing this video because although I've, uh, I've said that in comments and I've kind of mentioned in videos, now that I have this whole entire video explaining it, maybe people will understand why, and you can see obviously on the screen right here the two differences when we're saying let x equal to make it an integer, it will actually add the numbers together. And if we don't, it will just stack them next to each other. So I thank you for watching, and I hope that you have a great day. Please visit filmsbychris.com and uh, visit the links in the description. Have a great day.